We're going to talk about things lesbians are tired of hearing. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise. Welcome back to my channel and a massive hello if you're new. I hope you enjoy your stay. Before we start this video, I want to let you know that this video is part of the 12 gays of Christmas. I'm posting every second day up until Christmas, either gay related content or Christmas related content or a merge of them both. So if you happen to enjoy this video, you might enjoy the other ones that I'm posting too. The playlist to all the videos is in the description and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any. I really wanna talk about things that us lesbians are tired of hearing. A lot of these things I've had said to me, either my face or within YouTube comments or Instagram DMs. And some of these things I've just heard within the community and I know that they happen far too often. Take this video pretty lightly. A lot of it we know as lesbians, we know people are just uneducated or just being really dumb. This is an insight to things that me and us lesbians, us gays experience on the daily. Without further ado, the number one thing that I have heard so many fucking times is you don't look gay or you're too pretty to be lesbian. Are you fucking kidding me? It's as if you're trying to insult lesbians saying that lesbians are ugly or undesirable. Like, Oh, one, from experience, lesbians are 10 out of 10 hot, okay? And two, there is not one way that lesbian looks. Lesbian isn't just that stereotypical shaved hair, butch, masculine look. People who are lesbian look like me, have long hair, might wear makeup, have long nails, whatever. Lesbian is not a look. Lesbian is a sexual attraction that you feel inside. Number two is that as a lesbian, we default to hating men. My dad is a man, my brother is a man, my cousin is a man. I love them all. I don't hate them just because I'm gay. If I do hate you, it's probably because you're just a fucking asshole. Lesbians do not hate men. We just don't want to have sex with you. That is all. Can you understand that? This third one, it bothers me so much. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Or who is the guy in the relationship? There is no guy because that's what lesbian is. It's two women. There's no guys, there's, there's women. <laughs> Again, this stems from the stereotype that to be lesbian, you have to be masculine. It can be two feminine lesbians together or two masculine or one or the other, it doesn't matter. If you don't know what pants means, it just means who takes more control or who is more dominant, who takes the stereotypical male role. As a lesbian, I wear both pants and skirts and dresses and shorts and play suits and jeans. <sighs> okay, number four, you just haven't found the right guy yet. Or alternatively, you have never had a good relationship with a man, that's why you're gay. What if I turned this around and asked you, maybe you just haven't met the right guy yet. Maybe that's why you're straight. You just haven't met, you know? How do you know you're straight if you've never slept with a guy? Like, <laughs> what? I just, we don't need to wait to find the right man because we don't like men. Sexually, romantically, we're not interested. Even if I have had a relationship with a man, it doesn't mean that it was bad and it turned me gay. This ties in with number five, but it's how do you know you're lesbian if you've never been with a girl? If you've never slept with a girl, never kissed a girl, how do you know? How do you know you're straight if you haven't done these things? Think about when you're a kid, right? You don't need experience with liking boys to know that you like boys and you're straight. You don't need to have had an experience with a girl to know that you like women. It's just something that you know. You didn't need to experiment to then know that you're straight. It's the same for gay. You don't need to experiment to know that you're gay. And to any gays watching this, you don't need experience to know that you're gay. If that is something that is bothering you, either you're like, I don't know, like, how do I really know that I like girls? If you like girls, you like girls. I've definitely had this one said to me before, but it's how can you be lesbian? lesbian if you wear makeup slash you can't wear makeup because you're a lesbian. I can do what the fuck I want. <laughs> Have you considered that? Wearing makeup or not wearing makeup is not an attribute of being gay or not being gay. It's just face products that you put on your face because you can. Number seven, I've kind of experienced when I very first came out to my mum, but I know it happens a lot with other gays. And it's, oh my God, you're lesbian now. You can never have kids or how are you going to have kids or you have to adopt. You just need to open your mind a little bit and just do a little bit of research. But plenty of gay women have kids. We can still have kids. Like I can still biologically carry a child. 
That is so terrifying. I am so glad I am not doing that for a minimum of seven years more, six years more. I don't know. There is a lot of technology or options out there for us. We're not automatically cut off from having kids just because we're gay or automatically have to adopt because we're gay. <sighs> Number eight, it's just a phase. This is so hurtful and so dismissive of different sexualities in general. Being lesbian or being bisexual especially, bisexuals receive a lot of hate for this, but being gay or bi and interested in women is not a phase. If someone says that they're lesbian, don't dismiss them as, oh, you know, like you're not gonna be this way forever because they have put so much trust into telling you or they have spent so much time figuring their sexuality out. I don't think people understand in general like how long some people take to like realize that they're gay and then the amount of time they wait before they tell people like it's a scary thing people don't just want to use these labels to be in fashion or get attention nobody wants to be a minority and nobody wants to receive the backlash or the being looked down upon because you're lgbtq plus it's certainly not a choice and it's certainly not a phase <sighs> are you ready for this one number nine is but how do girls do it how do lesbians have sex? Okay, Greg, I don't ask how you and your wife have sex, so don't ask that to me. This is so invasive. It's none of your business to ask. This is just, in most cases, it is absolutely overstepping boundaries and overstepping the line. If you don't know someone, like if you're not best friends with someone, don't ask this. You've got the internet at your fingertips. Like literally, you can educate yourself so easily by looking this up. If you're under 18, I would be very careful about what you search on Google. <laughs> If you are someone who has asked this or wants to ask this or might ask this in the future, I really encourage you to think about all of the ways, all of the so many ways that you can have sex without a penis. Like there's so many options. And then all of those things that you thought of, that's what lesbians do, I think, maybe, maybe not. Number 10, but you've had a boyfriend before. Honey, <laughs> I didn't know you were keeping tabs on my relationship history. Okay, just, just because I've had a boyfriend in the past doesn't mean that I'm not gay now. Having a boyfriend could be a learning experience for a lesbian to know that they're definitely not into that. It doesn't mean that that experience was so horrible that it turned them gay. Your past doesn't equal what your sexuality is now. I have decided I am putting a bonus one in. You ready? Drum roll. The thing that lesbians are the most tired of hearing. I can turn you straight. Do I need to explain why this one is so horrible? One, you probably isn't that big. <laughs> and secondly, that would be assault. So don't even go there. I find it so weird that people like catcall lesbians in public who are like holding hands or showing a little bit of PDA or whatever, thinking that one, they can yell and say, I can turn you straight or can I join in or give me some of that type thing. Like, no, you would never. You would never say that to a straight couple. So don't do it to lesbians. The definition of lesbian is that we like women. Why is that so hard to understand? Please tell me the most ridiculous thing you've heard in the comments below. Let's all bond over the traumatic experiences of being a lesbian. Please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss a single video. Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying the 12 Gays of Christmas so far and I will see you in the next one. Bye!